In this lecture, we will cover test implementation activities. Test implementation is the fifth activity in the test process. In the previous lecture, we saw during test implementation, the test where necessary for test execution is created or completed, including sequencing the test cases into test procedures. Now we will cover the six major activities of test implementation as mentioned in the ISTQB syllabus. The first activity is developing and prioritizing test procedures and potentially creating automated test scripts. The second activity is creating test suits from the test procedures and, if any, automated test scripts. The third activity is arranging the test suits within a test execution schedule in a way that results in efficient test execution. And the fourth activity is building the test environment, including potentially test harnesses, service virtualization, simulators, and other infrastructure items, and verifying that everything needed has been set up correctly. The fifth main activity is preparing test data and ensuring it is properly loaded in the test environment. And the sixth main activity is verifying and updating bidirectional traceability between the test basis, test conditions, test cases, test procedures, and test suits. Now let's understand each of these test activities one by one. The first main task is developing and prioritizing test procedures and potentially creating automated test scripts. Here we develop test procedures and test scripts from high-level test cases. The test procedure is nothing but low-level test cases which contain detailed test action and used for manual testing. And test scripts are developed using scripting languages such as Python or JavaScripts and used for automation testing. Here we not only develop test procedures or test scripts, we also prioritize them. So this is the first main activity, developing and prioritizing test procedures and potentially creating automated test scripts. The second activity is creating test suits from the test procedures and, if any, automated test scripts. Let's understand this point. As we know in the test implementation stage, we develop low-level test cases. It can be a test procedure or test scripts. And we also prioritize them. Based on the priority, we group them in the order of execution and such groups are referred to as test suits. This test suit is then given to the next stage for test execution. This is the second activity of test implementation, creating test suits from the test procedures and automated test scripts. The third activity is arranging the test suits within a test execution schedule in a way that results in efficient test execution. During test implementation, we create many test suits. Now we have to schedule them in the order of test execution. For example, some of the automated scripts may require testers' involvement in those tests we can run when we are in office. There could be some automated scripts which do not require human intervention. We can plan them for a night run. We arrange test suits for efficient test execution. What you need to remember is the third activity of test implementation is arranging the test suits within a test execution schedule in a way that results in efficient test execution. The fourth activity is building the test environment and verifying that everything needed has been set up correctly. In the test design stage, we identified the test environment infrastructure. In the test implementation stage, we have to make the test setup ready for execution, and we also have verified the test setup. Test environment may include test harnesses, service virtualization, simulators, other infrastructure items. 
you have to remember the fourth activity of test implementation, building the test environment and verifying that everything needed has been set up correctly. The fifth main activity is preparing test data and ensuring it is properly loaded in the test environment. Let's understand this point. If you remember in the test design stage, we identified the test data and the values were missing. In the test implementation stage, we created the test data by updating the values, as shown here. Remember the fifth main activity of test implementation is preparing test data and ensuring it is properly loaded in the test environment. And the sixth main activity is verifying and updating bidirectional traceability between the test bases, test conditions, test cases, test procedures, and test suits. Similar to the logic discussed previously, here new work products are test procedures or test scripts they should be linked with the high-level test cases of the test design stage. With this, we will establish bidirectional traceability between the test bases, test conditions, test cases, test procedures, and test suits. Now let's summarize all the points which we discussed till now. Developing and prioritizing test procedures and potentially creating automated test scripts creating test suits from the test procedures and, if any, automated test scripts, arranging the test suits within a test execution schedule in a way that results in efficient test execution, building the test environment including potentially test harnesses, service virtualization, simulators, and other infrastructure items and verifying that everything needed has been set up correctly. Preparing test data and ensuring it is properly loaded in the test environment. Verifying and updating bidirectional traceability between the test bases, test conditions, test cases, test procedures, and test suits.